These days we talk a lot about everything has scored, infrastructure has scored, yeah. this has scored. Uh, what is the dagger approach? Because there are, there are advantages also looking at everything as code. There are some disadvantages also. So when I it's come to CI, is, is this, I mean, we should look at new paradigm shifts. We should look at new kind of practices. Of course, you are building technologies as well. Yeah. But how it should be seen. Yeah. When you think of a, a CI pipeline as code, um, you need a sort of a new programming model. But it turns out it's a very natural one and a very useful one. Um, your program is a pipeline. So it's really boxes and arrows. You know, you can whiteboard boxes that have arrows that go to other boxes. It's a graph. Um, and each box is a little program. They're all running in parallel and they're sending data to each other. It's the most natural thing in the world to think about, but it's not how most frameworks work. So Dagger's job is to give you a programming model that is perfect for pipelines. Um, and uh, once you have that framework, everything becomes easy. I don't, I don't know how to describe it other than that. You just got to try it. <laughs> right, right, right. No. It's, but, like, yeah. it's like in the movie Matrix, right? You have to experience the Matrix. Exactly. Also. Nobody yeah. can explain but, it. But it's really, it has to scale down. You need to be able to break the problem down to very small units. And each unit is incredibly simple to program. Our, our, a, a typical dagger function is 10 to 30 lines. You know, and your pipeline is made of connecting these functions together. So you break it down into the fundamentals, and that exactly like Lego, and then you connect them. You know, and over time you kind of add to your collection of components, and it gets easier. Um, yeah, the composition is the key.